Hello everybody, I'm Bruce Stafford from the Home Smart Realty Group here in Orland Park. I'd like to welcome you to my channel, The Real Estate Connection, and today I'm here with Glenn Marino, my good friend from First Centennial Mortgage. Glenn is going to give us a little bit of information that I find very fascinating. Glenn, they're telling me it's easier to buy homes now in Illinois, almost easier than it's ever been. Bruce, it's so exciting. 2019 is a great year to let everybody know that there's these new down payment assistance programs that are getting people into homes for as little as 1% of the purchase price. Said differently, a $200,000 home these days could be bought as easily as $2,000. And our job is really to get out there and let people know how they can go about taking advantage of these great programs. It's called Down Payment Assistance. It's from the Illinois Housing Development Authority and it comes in three different forms. A $6,000 program, a $7,500 program, and a $10,000 program. So let's back up and let's take a look at each one and take it apart. The $6,000 program is a grant, $6,000 grant from the state of Illinois, and it's forgivable over 10 years. So if someone buys a home, takes the $6,000 and uses it for down payment or closing costs, and they live in it for 10 years, nothing's needed to be repaid back. Second one is the $7,500 program. I call it the crazy good program. <laughs> it's crazy good because think of it, they're getting $7,500, it's a zero interest loan, okay, no interest, and there's no payments now on this for 30 years or until they sell the house. So here's $7,500, go buy a house, live in the house, and 20 years later when you sell it, give it back. Not with interest, just give back the $7,500. Oh, that's awesome. That's my crazy good deal. The last one, $10,000, is very similar to the $7,500. It's a zero interest loan, but you, there is a principal only repayment over a 10 year period, $83.33. So a lot of times I tell people, I go, what would it cost you if you took your significant other out for a nice dinner, um, you know, glass of wine, and they said, well, going to it cost 60, 80, maybe 100, depending upon what restaurant we go to. Okay, I said, if you can give up one meal a month, I give you $10,000. Would you do it? Sounds like a winner to me. Absolutely, absolutely. So the only thing that they need to understand, people need to understand, is that to qualify for this, they just need a 640 or better credit score, and their household income has to be under $101,520. In your estimation, do most people that are, you know, renting or first-time home buyers, they have a 640 score? Do they make less than 101, 520? Definitely. This is something that can turn renters into homeowners faster than what they thought. Absolutely. Let's give them a, a quick example. So again, if they have a 640 better score and they, they make the income is under 101, 520, let's show them renting versus buying, say, a $200,000 home. Okay. And I just happen to bring along with us our little whiteboard here. So if you'll hold that with me. So again, a typical rent situation is going to have their first month's rent, say, is $1,500, and their security deposits, $1,500. So they're going to be out of pocket $3,000. Mm -hmm. Makes some sense. Okay, if they have the credit score in the, in the income, they could be looking at buying, say, a $200,000 home. They'd be buying it, say, using FHA, because that's the, the least down payment of 3.5%. And 3.5% is $7,000 for the down payment. Well, maybe the renter says, Glenn, Bruce, come on, I have $3,000, I don't have $7,000. We hear them, however, it's who pays that $7,000? Remember, they only have to come up with 1% of that $200,000. So they come up with $2,000, and then the state of Illinois comes up with the $5,000 in down payment assistance, and let's just say we're using the $10,000 program. So take $5,000 out of the $10,000, you got five from the state, two out of their own funds, you got $7,000, put a check mark, they've got all the funds they need for down payment. In a real estate transaction, the second bucket of cash that they need to cover is called closing costs, and closing costs are about $5,000. Once again, they go, Glenn, Bruce, are you hearing me? I have 3000 I don't have 5000 for the closing costs. And once again, we say not to worry. 
Remember, you had a $10,000 bucket from the state of Illinois from down, for down payment assistance. You've only used five of it for your first bucket for down payment. You still have $5,000 remaining that we'll use now for the closing costs. So the customer's out $0 for the closing costs. State of Illinois paid $5,000. The last bucket that they have to cover in a real estate transaction is called escrows for real estate taxes and homeowners insurance. And the good news, Bruce, in the state of Illinois, we know that we pay our real estate taxes one year behind. Correct. So in the year 2019, we're not going to pay our taxes on the, on the 2019 taxes until 2020. So if we had a real estate closing on May 31st, who's lived in the house for the first five months? Well, it's the seller. The seller's going to give our customer who's buying this house five months of real estate taxes as a credit at the closing. The good news is the credit always exceeds what the lender might be asking for them to put up as the initial deposit for real estate taxes or homeowners insurance. So let's summarize. Third bucket of cash escrows is zero to our customer because they're going to get a seller credit for real estate taxes. Bucket number two, closing costs is 5000 Our customer is going to come up with zero because their down payment from the state of Illinois is going to pay that $5,000. Bucket number one, down payment is $7,000 and our customer only put up $2,000 or 1% of the purchase price and just bought themselves a $200,000 home for $2,000. What a great program for renters to understand if they've got at least a first month's rent and a security deposit, they definitely have to look at being a, a buyer and seeing if they can purchase a home for as little as 1% of the purchase price. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. 1% down, 640 credit score, and you can turn yourself from a renter to a homeowner. Absolutely. And, and let's help them on that journey toward that home ownership. To get started, all they've got to do is either go to their App Store, download FCM Express. Once they download it, it'll take them 10 minutes to fill out the application. And with the camera on their phone, they can click on their pay stubs, they can click on their W-2s, get themselves pre-approved, free of charge. Otherwise, they can contact me, Glenn Marino, over at First Centennial uh, at 630-983-3604, or my email is g.marino at gofcm.com. And you can also contact me, Bruce Stafford, Home Smart Realty. You can reach me at my phone number at 773-609-5515 or email me at bstafford-rentals at gmail.com. Glenn, I appreciate you coming out today, joining us here on the Real Estate Connection and informing the people how easy it is to become a homeowner now in this year in the state of Illinois. Glenn, thank you for coming out to the Real Estate Connection. You're very welcome. It was great. Thank you so much. All right. And everybody out there, if you find this information that we give to you at the Real Estate Connection helpful, like, click, and subscribe. And hit the little ding button because we're always going to be coming at you with informative information weekly about how you can become a homeowner in the state of Illinois. Until next time, thank you and have a great day.